all right welcome to the channel guys in this one i want to show you the basics of how you can create a google ad and basically what you need to do is first off you need to come to this ads.google.com and you should see a page like this right so you then need to click on start now okay but before we proceed if you're not subscribed to the channel i want to encourage you to hit the subscribe button and to leave a like on this video all right so i'm going to click on start now i already have a google ads account and i've already worked with google ads in the past so my experience is actually going to be different if you're doing this for the first time so what i'm going to do is when you click on start now right i'm going to take you to watch um something that is similar to what you're going to experience so if you're new to google ads then i'm just going to click on new google ads accounts on another so you can see the experience you get so just permit me to close this for now so here are some of the options that we need to set ab initial so i'm just going to go with get more visits to get more website sales or sign up okay i'm just going to click on this and i'll click on next And here you get to specify your business name. So I'm just going to say Xenotrust Academy. Okay, so it says tell us. Um, this helps us show your ads when people search for you by name. Okay, so that's fine. And basically we can just click on next. And then you can then go ahead and specify your website. So I'm just going to go with www. Okay, and then I'll go ahead and click on next. Okay, so as you can see, it has already um, tried to get some details about the website and basically we can see how it looks on a desktop and a mobile view so um i'm just going to go ahead and click on next so right um here we can go ahead and start creating uh, a search ad so there are different kinds of ad right but we're going to stick with the search ad okay so um so the first thing is the headline one and i'm just going to leave that as Zeno trust academy but for the headline two i'm just going to say something like so this is actually going to be related to your business okay but for now i'm just going to say learn um let's just say web development okay and i'm just going to leave that and for the headline three i'm going to specify nigeria okay okay so now there's this option to um add a description so of course you want to add something that will be catchy to your eyes so i'm just going to say this is the best boot camp to learn web development okay all right, so you see here, this is the best bootcamp to learn web development. And for the caption too, I'm just going to get rid of it. So, and like so, okay. Or maybe I'll just say enroll today or enroll now. And then I'll stop there. Okay, so here it says show a call button in your ads. So it depends um, on what you actually want to achieve. For me, what I'm actually interested in is a link click. So I can go ahead and uncheck that, okay? But of course, you can actually um, leave that here and add your phone number, okay? So, let, okay, maybe I'll just add a phone number so you can see. So it's a... Okay. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to click on next. So
So in this option here, it's it, we are supposed to add some keyword themes to match our ad search. Okay. So uh, basically, when people come to Google, they search for they are they actually searching for something. Okay, and there are words they use to describe what they want. Okay. So um, this is actually a very this is a topic on its own. Okay, because Google has a keyword planner that can help you um, organize your um, keyword um, search so but in the initial stages we're just going to try to search for things that we know um, users will search for when they want to you know um, get a service that we're rendering so I'm just gonna click on new keyword theme and I'm just gonna say web design so this can actually be um, this can oh not web hosting web design so this can actually be something that is related to your business okay so let me just say web design okay so i'll just say web design and i'm just gonna um, get rid of the academy and i'll just say something like um maybe web website or maybe get a website or something okay so i'll just say get a website and um Maybe I'll say website design company. And I should get, okay. Or software design agency, okay. So I'm just going to stop here. But the idea is if you're doing this for the first time, you may not have access to Google Keyword Planner. So um, we're going to see how we can have access to that after we attempt to create this first ad. Okay, so for now, I'm just going to click on yes. Of course, there's this option advertise in English. So if your language is not English or you want to advertise in other languages, you want to check that. So I'm just going to click on next so we can see. Okay, so um, this is where you then get to specify um, like a location where you want to advertise. Um, so um you can specify is you can specify the zip code um the city the state or even the whole country so for example i'm just going to say maybe something like abuja and as you can see i can select that so ideally you may not want to advertise in the whole country okay you may just want to advertise in specific places so maybe i'll say abuja and lagos and if you're watching this from a country outside Nigeria then of course it same applies for you so you can specify by zip code by your city and anywhere you want okay so I'm just gonna click on next okay so now this is where you get to select a budget okay and it's very important okay so um, you can actually just go with predefined options okay here but what I would like to do is I would like to actually enter my own budget, okay? And if you're entering your own budget, well, you can select your currency. Um, all, all the currencies, like all the global currencies are not available, okay? So I'm just going to go US dollars and I'm going to come down to... So it says daily average, right? And get an estimated... Um, add click each month and stuff like that so maybe i'll just come down to like five okay so coming down to five actually gives me this warning here um so i'm just going to increase it to six okay and as you're increasing it to six you you see the estimated clicks you get each month okay and so um, i'm just gonna leave it at six and if you're just starting out creating google ads you actually want to start from the minimum and then as you get better at it you can then you know increase your ad budget okay so i'm just going to click on next and this is where it gives us the option to actually review um our campaign so you just get to see and if you want you can actually change you know some of the things that you have set before okay so i don't want to change anything i'm just going to go ahead and click on next and boom so now this is where i get to enter a payment um, method so um my country and actually you can actually get a 
promo or a coupon code okay so you can maybe do a google search for um google ads coupon code and you can paste that here and click on apply okay and you know stuff like that and that will actually give you a discount or you know save you some money okay so you go ahead and set your account type so specify the organization and organization name and then you come down here and you specify your payment method billing address and if you want automatic payment or manual payment okay so i would definitely like to go for manual payment so that i make the payments and know that i've you know made that payment and then you go ahead and submit okay so that will be your first campaign now um it doesn't necessarily mean that the campaign will start running immediately because it still has to be verified now but when you've gone through this step right you then get to access the full dashboard that will give you access to the google keyword planner and that's what i'm going to do so i'm not even going to publish this ad okay because i already have an account where i have full access to the keyword planner okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to that account so we can get started and see how the keyword planner works all right so i opened one of the accounts and as you can see this is how the dashboard looks and basically you will see so you know remember we started by setting up a campaign right so your campaigns would appear on this place here and if you click on the campaign you will then see the details inside of the campaign so things like the ad group and the ads inside of the ad group and stuff like that you're going to see it inside of the campaign so basically what i wanted to show you is i wanted to show you how you can actually take advantage of the google keyword planner so that you can get specific um you can know how you can target users because it will give you an idea of what users are searching for and how much it's going to cost you to bid on that um, um keyword okay so basically all you need to do is come to tools and settings and come to keyword planner So I'm getting this refine your keyword planner. I'm not going to do that now. I'm just going to, you know, close that and show you some of the things that I want to. Okay. So um, basically, I'm just going to come to discover new keywords. Okay. And let me just search for maybe web design company. And I'll just do that and i'm going to just click on get results so um basically we can see here that we have like okay let's look at this first result here on an average every month we have a hundred to one thousand search on web design company and the competition is medium and basically it will cost me this particular amount to have when someone like to have someone you know to have my website be the first result when someone searches for this that you know the user can get to see and click on okay so as you can see if we go down you see different um, options so web development company has like a hundred to one thousand um then best website design has like 10 to 100 but you see that the um what's it called the competition is low okay and it costs relatively less to you know have my website be displayed on the as the first result when a person searches for that so basically this is the google keyword planner so you can actually like check other um, search terms okay so it's not just website design so let me just do something like maybe learn web design and i'll just check that and i'll click on get results and okay so you see we're getting um different results for this okay so you see learn web design 100 to 1000 now if you were probably running a business where um your your services rendered is a very competitive one maybe something related to fashion or um so let me just let, let's just try out something related to fashion um let me just try um um what do, what do, let me buy um female dress okay i'll click on get results 
okay i probably probably i'm not i'm not i'm not actually searching for the right term um and nothing is actually coming to my mind now okay let me see buy food online Okay, so I apparently I'm not searching for the best <laughs> results. Um, I'm not using the right search terms to actually get a. I'm actually trying to get a keyword with a very competitive um, search value. Okay, but um, it's not coming right now. So basically, what I'm trying to say is that depending on your business, right? If you like in a business that has very competitive um, markets and very competitive vendors then you actually are going to see a very high competition here and the bid for you know putting your website on the first result may actually be higher than what you see here so that's basically it now basically you can actually um, use each of these search keywords to create an ad group so I'm going to go back to my web design thing so I'll see web design company um should i maybe just add lagos to see what design company in lagos and let me click on get results okay so for example if i'm searching for web design company in lagos right if i want to use that and create an ad group i can simply just click on it here like this and i can decide to create an ad group for this in other words i'm creating an ad group under this campaign such that when a user searches for um, web design company in Lagos, this ad group will be activated and the ad that I create under the ad group is what will be shown to that user. So I can just maybe give it a name like maybe web design Lagos. Okay. And then I'll click on create. Okay. So basically that's how it works. Now, um, like... Uh, um, I'll, there are a lot of things you can actually learn about the keyword research and stuff like that and many of those things cannot be covered in one video but I just wanted you to be able to have the basics of how you can use Google free keyword planner to organize the way your ads who your ads will be shown to how you can you know create competition and stuff like that now with Google ads with we have other kinds of ads not just um, search ads right there's a whole Google display network where you can you know select how you want your ads to where how and where you want your ads to be displayed but i just wanted you to have the basics of how you can create a search ads and such that when people search on google your um website will be displayed first okay all right so that's basically it for this tutorial thank you so much for watching and see you in another one but before I go, I just want to show you how you can actually initiate that process, um, the process of creating an ad when you logged in here. So basically, if you want to create like a new campaign, you can simply just on your dashboard here, click on new campaign and you can then go ahead and begin the process of, you know, selecting um, how you want to create the ad. So do you want to generate sales or leads or tr um, website traffic, which is what we did in the other one? Or, you know so these are the various options we have you want to promote an app okay so if you have an app on Google Play Store you can actually promote it um, with this or you want to you know increase your brand awareness and reach so for example if you want to go through the website traffic so you can just select that and then you can then see all the options that we have so there's the search ad um, display ads using the various um, Google display network outlets and then you can see the other ones okay so you click on search ads and then you can then you know add your business website and then you can you know click on continue so basically I just wanted to show you how you can actually replicate the same process that we went through when we first like logged into Google Ads okay so that's basically how this ads thing work and I'm going to say it at the moment that if you're doing this for the first time you may not be all that great at it so it's a skill it's a digital marketing is a skill that you you keep learning and then you keep getting better over time okay so but the general rule is that when you get started with learning you want to start um, with as little budget as possible and then when you get better and confident in what you're doing you can then up your budget 
and um, that's it all right so thank you so much for watching this video see you in another one